All set? And, the, and things happen real quick, right? Three, two, one, turn keys. Hold. Okay, you may release. That's all there is to it. The green light turns on, says launch enable. For all intents and purposes, that little green light should say, welcome to World War III. That's pretty much what it boils down to. Batteries activated means we have two batteries aboard the missile that are charging up. They're going to supply electric power for the missile while it's in flight. It takes 28 seconds to charge the batteries. When the batteries come online, we'll get amps power. That means the missile has switched to internal power. It's now fully on its own. The silo door starts to slide open. When it slides far enough, it'll slide through the radar beams and set off the alarm. That gives us silo soft. Guidance go means the internal guidance computer has completed critical checks of the guidance system. Everything is go. In a few seconds, we'll have main engine start. When the engine starts, we get a loud fire alarm and indications that we have fires out there burning in the silo, which you would expect. Build that crust, pop the hole down bolts, and off you go with the wild blue yonder. 58 seconds for key turn to lift off. There is no oops switch. So once you turn the keys, you are committed. Missile's going to fly, pick a target somewhere in the Soviet Union. Uh, Vladivostok, okay? From here to Vladivostok, 6,300 miles away, give or take. 35 minutes via Titan II. Top speed, 16,000 miles per hour. So in 35 minutes, or just before 10 o'clock local time, 9 o'clock local time, 10 o'clock, Titan II is not, uh, Target II is not someplace that you want to be. Target 2 is a classified target. The crew didn't know where it was, and we still don't know today. In 35 minutes, Target 2 does, disappears inside of a fireball some three miles in diameter, and brighter, they say, than 100 suns. 